This time of year, campfires and scary stories go hand in hand. But lugging a bunch of books out into the woods? Not for me. That's why I like Audible.com. I can browse countless books and download them straight to my phone or tablet and read them in low-light situations, like Carrie by Stephen King, my favorite author. For a free book download of your choice, courtesy of me, please visit audible.com slash chris. That's audible.com slash chris. Well, guys, the response that I have been getting on the Scary Movie Specials is extremely warming to my heart. I'm just, my heart is warm right now. Thank you very much. You guys have left some really great comments. Sam and I are very happy with the way the skits turned out, with the way the reviews turned out. As you can see, the background is still in that zone, and it will be for a few more days. But I just want to say thanks very much. And I got a lot of comments of people saying they love the skits so much that they wanted to rewatch them. And so I was thinking, maybe I would just put up a video that had all the skits in them. They're from the Scary Movie Special that I've released. Part one and part two are currently up. And that way, if you guys want to come back and watch the skits whenever you want, they're all in one video. I just wanted to make a video where you guys could watch them if you wanted to without having to skip through to figure out where your favorite one was. I got some requests for like singular skit videos and I thought, well, I don't really want to do that. But I will make one video in which you guys can watch them all in a row if you want to. Or if you didn't feel like watching us talk about the movies, you can at least watch the skits that we did because we did work very hard on them and I really hope you guys appreciate them. I'm gonna keep them here in this video for you guys and you can watch them whenever you want. Without further ado, I will stop talking. Enjoy. This is the story of a man and a woman. That man and woman. They're about to take a journey into the deepest, darkest depths of cinema, all the way to the Stuckman Zone.
What's your favorite scary movie? Who is this? What are you doing tonight, honey? About to watch Bats. Bats? Why in the living hell would you watch that movie? Well, who doesn't like Bats? It's a fabulous film. Kids these days. Oh, my popcorn is ready. So anyways, I was saying, what's your favorite scary movie? Well, the scariest is certainly Dragon Ball Evolution. You ever mention that film again, I'll cut your throat, you little bitch! Like, seriously, is this Mark or Chris? No, this isn't Chris. This is the guy that's gonna take a knife and spread your insides all over your kitchen. Speaking of your kitchen, you shouldn't leave your microwave door open. What do you mean? You know, Mark, I really don't appreciate being messed with. You might be dating my best friend, but that doesn't give you the right to be an asshole to me. Good boy. I'm so telling the teacher when I get to school, I'm gonna do Oh my god, this is such bullshit. You can cut the theatrics. Like, it's so 1980s, the scary boys you're trying to pull. Ugh. little bitch made me think of Dragon Ball Evolution. She's going to die. Okay, honey, it changed. It's time for pie. Now, do we have anything for pumpkin pie? Because I think we have apples. Yeah, I think I set a bag over there by the window. Can you check? Oh, that's not so easy way. There's a guy out there? What do you think he wants? I think he wants to be in part two. Is she? She said she'd be here at midnight exactly. I swear to God, if she tries to scare me again.
So, how do you feel about being in the haunted woods of Stowe, Ohio? You're pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. What exactly would possess us to go into these woods? Some stuff people left behind. Yeah, I'm looking at your behind. That's what I'm doing. Now tell me, okay. what is this? Looks like it needs to be a kid's house. A kid's house or a swing set. Maybe. I'm assuming. Do you think maybe the children sometimes still play on the swings at night? The dead children? Bomb, bomb, bomb. You know what I think? What? I think I'd like to. Get out. That's what I'd like to do. Oh. Someone engraved their names. Yeah, look. Somebody painted a letter and engraved their names. The guy in town said that John and Jenna were the kids that were killed out here. Maybe. Or maybe there's a witch out here that's going to eat us and rip our heads off and... Well, she'll go for you first. You're the fattest. That's not even true. Um... <laughs> Are you sure you aren't fat? No. Are you y sure? You're beautiful. But you're saying that you're not the fattest. Let's just go look for that witch. <laughs> Yes. Maybe. Hey, I think I heard something over there. Yeah. Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Let's see if the wood's getting to ya. Yeah, that's nice. How do you suppose these things got launched into the wood? Yeah, those things up there, they're like in the wood. In, I don't know. Somebody was really scared and wanted to get us out of here. I think it was something else. You think it was something else? You always want to think it's something else. It's because I'm Agent fucking Mulder, you fucking fuck. Oh, you're going to baptize me. What the are you, you little fucktard? <laughs> <laughs> this is basically what the Blair Witch Project is like. But it's awesome. Well, fuckity fuck fuck, I don't know.
is it? Well, guys, that is the end of our Scary Movie Special. We both really appreciate you guys watching, don't we? Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. It's just a little, um, woozy. I'm sorry. Okay. Guys, we really appreciate you watching. It was really nice. We had a lot of fun talking about horror films with you. And uh, we just want to say from both of us, thanks very much. We love to know what we thought of our skits, and we hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck on it. Are you sure you're all right, hon? I'm fine. I, I guess maybe it's just too much light. Okay. Too much light. Okay. Um, all right. Well, uh, same. Same. Oh, God. Yes, uh, my, my fiance, I don't know what's happening. She just stopped moving. She's not breathing. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. She just stopped breathing. We were sitting next to each other, and she just stopped breathing. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I was right there with her. She stopped breathing. She stopped moving. You guys send someone over as quickly as possible. I'm not sure if she's okay. I need you to help me out here. Sarah.